In tonight's Pacific Storyland, we're talking ducks and beavers, but mostly beavers, specifically two brothers. They are OSU grads, and on Friday, they are going to their 50th rivalry game in a row. As Catherine Cook and photographer Corey Long show us, they know a lot about beating the odds. From their heads to their toes, and even what they bleed. Black and orange for the most part. Brothers Mike and Neil Marshall are Oregon State beavers. Them? Seven? Yeah. And their whole damn family. All beavers. All beavers, yeah. Two sisters and five brothers, including the oldest, number 66, Greg Marshall. He started it all. He was a very good football player, and he was lucky enough to get a scholarship to Oregon State. Neil and Mike watched Greg and the Beavs take on the Oregon Ducks that season in 1974. It would be their first rivalry game, which fans used to call the Civil War. And we have not missed a game since. It's uh, my favorite event of the year, plain and simple. Friday will mark the brothers' 50th consecutive year attending the rivalry game. That includes 2020, when fans weren't allowed in the stadium because of COVID. The Marshals went to Corvallis anyway. They watched the game on TV in the parking lot. And we were literally the only people in Corvallis uh, doing it. Socially distanced, of course. Just had to keep the streak alive. Yeah, had to be there. So we did it, and honestly, it's the most fun I've ever had at the Civil War. Yeah. For these beavers, it's less about hating the ducks and more about loving the rivalry. People get all fired up, and but on that day, were combatants and friends. Take the 1982 game. Neil's buddy, Daryl All, a duck, drove up from Eugene to Corvallis to surprise Neil with these shoes. Converse, I still have them. I've worn them to every <laughs> Civil War game since then. <laughs> His feet pay the price every game, yeah, but they he's do. still wearing them. And Neil will wear them Friday in what might be the very last rivalry game ever. This year, the University of Oregon left the Pac-12 to join the Big Ten. It's sad, very sad, I think. As yet, the teams are not scheduled to play each other next season. It might be the last one for a lot of people, but one way or another, it's getting close to being the last one for me. It Two years ago, doctors diagnosed Neil with an aggressive form of brain cancer. They gave him just months to live. Two years ago, when we came out of the game in Eugene, and we weren't sure what the future held, one of our friends, Paul, turned to Neil and said, well, I guess you're just going to have to be around another year or two <laughs> because you can't end on that game. And sure enough, last year was one of the best games ever. At home in Corvallis, OSU beat Oregon 38-34, to knocking the Ducks out of the Pac-12 championship game. The Marshall brothers aren't that worried about the score come Friday or what happens next year or the year after that. Being together, being brothers for game number 50, that's the win. Just enjoy this one. We have this one. Let's enjoy it. In Southwest Portland, Catherine Cook, KGW News. Because in the end, no matter who you root for, we are all on the same team. Thanks to Catherine and Corey for that story. By the way, Catherine would love to hear your ideas for Pacific Storyland. You can send an email to PacificStoryland at KGW.com or just text her 503-226-5088.